Hello, my name is Ashley King and I am an English student with a concentration in political science from Bennett College in Greensboro, North Carolina. As you know, 2020 represents the 100 year anniversary of when women gained the right to vote. And I believe as an African American female that goes to an HBCU, it is very important for my voice to be heard in the upcoming election. What's up? So I'm here to simply tell you why I vote. My name is Carrington and I vote because since the first black man has ever stepped foot onto this land, our existence has been politicized. It affects how we live, how we breathe, how we move through this world. I vote because I'm an educator and I want to secure the lives of my children. I vote because I want to empower every black life that exists. I vote because guess what? I want to focus on every form of resistance there is. And voting is one of those forms of resistance. So please resist with me and vote. Invisible forces such as white supremacy, patriarchy, and elitism create reinforced systems that feel impossible to dismantle. I'm voting in November for the same reason I voted in February and in June, because I believe being passive is being on the side of the oppressor. Local elections are just as important as presidential elections, so I'm making sure I do my homework. I'm picking the person who I believe that can get the job done the best, and I'm going to continue to use my vote and my voice to hold them accountable to do better. Hi there, my name is Visa Danani and I am 19 years old. As a first time voter, I am very excited to exercise my right to vote in November and have my voice heard in the 2020 election. Before my senior year of high school, I, along with many of my peers, believed that individual voters did not have much of an impact. However, that soon changed after I learned about the voting process in my AP government course. A large portion of the general public tends to focus on solely the presidential election. However, there are also local and state elections to consider. While presidential or other national elections usually get a significant voter turnout, local elections are typically decided by a smaller group of voters, allowing me to voice my opinion. In conclusion, I believe that participating in elections is one of the key freedoms of American life. Many people in countries around the globe do not have the same opportunity, nor did many Americans in the past. No matter what you believe or whom you support, it is definitely important to exercise your rights. Hi, my name is Sonia Jefferson Lynch of the Black Light Project, and I just want to say voting is such an important thing for me, my family. Um, we typically do it together as a family. We go out and vote um, in all elections, municipal, local, state, federal. We get together and we make it a thing. It's very important to us, and I feel that it's important to you too. This year is very important. This is a definitely a, a big chapter in our American history, and I hope that you would join us, my family, even if it's by mail-in, um, early voting, whatever you decide to do. I hope you take part in it because it is certainly an honor and a privilege um, that our ancestors made sure we had the opportunity to partake in. So I hope you get out there. See you soon. Hi, my name is Santana Jackson. I'm a rising 3L at NYU Law. I'm voting in this election and the reason why it's so important for me to vote in this election is because for centuries, people in power have tried to disenfranchise people of color and women for voting. Despite all of this, I believe that black people specifically and people of color have brought democracy to this country and we are the ones that are going to bring change that we need to see in the country as far as racial justice, economic equality, and healthcare. I hope that you all believe the power of our ability to change our country as well. Hi everyone, my name is Michaela Key. I'm a freshman at UNC Chapel Hill. And the reason why I am voting this November is because I know it is a very important election for everyone to vote in. And we need to vote to make sure our voice is heard and our voice matters. And I know a lot of people don't think that voting in elections can have a big impact, but it can have a big impact across your entire community and go as big as nationwide. So that's why I am voting this November and I encourage you to do so as well. My name is Brianna Baker and I'm from Alamance County, North Carolina, home to the Alamance County Confederate Monument, which I spend most weekends protesting against. A black woman born and raised in the South, I know that racism is alive and well. As a UNC alumna and current PhD student at Columbia University, I study the harmful effects of racism and oppression on the human mind. I believe in the liberation and empowerment of people of color and other marginalized groups, which is exactly why I'm exercising my right to vote. Our votes are a powerful medium for making significant systems level change. And in the words of Angela Davis, I'm no longer accepting the things that I cannot change. I'm changing the things that I cannot accept. Hi, my name is Paul Winston Kanje. I'm a rising 3L at NYU School of Law. And I just want to say that this upcoming election is so important because everything that has to do with our future is at stake. 
from dealing with the environment to taking care of racial inequality to income inequality to dealing with police brutality even the fundamental principles of our democracy are at stake that's why it's so important to vote this november and to have a plan to vote and vote early i'm going to be voting and i hope that you will too